What up, though, Heist Man? The folk talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Do y'all remember that movie called The Blind Side? Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I'm talking about that movie with the girl from Speed, Sandra Bullock. But that movie wound up being true. I ain't never seen the movie, man. I ain't want to see no white lady get some big old black football player and change his life or something. I don't know, man. I just wasn't feeling that when I heard about it. But it was a true story. Um, come to find out, this is the brother right here. And um, it was with him when he went to the N um, NFL and all that stuff. He got drafted. I think that's what the story is about. About um, the blind side. Some big old black crazy looking motherfucker. I don't know. Um, but the story is, she both said adopted him and all that stuff and that man calling Cap. He calling Cap right now. He said, that's a big Cap. He said, he was never adopted by them. He said, that's all they wanted him was for his money. He said, they did something like they came for, tried to get conveyorship of him, but that same stuff Britney Spears had when her daddy took over her, all her funds and all that stuff. Cause something was wrong with him, and I don't know. Was, I don't think nothing wrong with the brother. Cause I think I seen some interviews. I'm like, that's a dude from the blind side. I thought he was, you know. I'm thinking this is gonna be on some Forrest Gump radio type shit, you know. When I when I heard about the blind side, this big old I'm John Coffee, you know, Green Mile type dude. I'm thinking that's what that is. But it was a regular dude. Uh, he must have some hardships or something. And I think that they both said adopted him and helped his, you know, gave him some stability and helped him get to the college level then on to the pros but he calling cap he said ain't none of that happened he said they ain't never adopted him they just did that and made him sign some papers for conveyorship i think that's what it is they were looking at him like he was on get out <laughs> they was gonna trick that boy they did um i wonder why it takes so long for him to for, you know to come out with this or was he trying to keep, like, did they, did they fall out? Did he try to keep her under wraps or something? I don't know. That's just the story. That's his side of the story. Um, Like, if they helped that man out, big shout out to them for helping that man out. If y'all took that man money, you know, that's messed up. Y'all took that boy money. Or did that, like, I don't know, man. It's supposed to be a give and take. I mean, I don't know, man. Just a white family taking this big old brother in and, Maybe they wanted to really help, or maybe they just seen a meal ticket. I don't know. I ain't going to judge these people, but that's the story right now. That's him, Michael Orr. That's his name. Michael Orr coming out saying he was never adopted by them. I don't know. Did he want to be adopted by them, or is he mad he didn't get adopted? He found out. I don't know. More details going to come out about this. We definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel, because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live right here on this channel every Friday at 9. Come through, join the conversation. And holler at your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.